and gentlemen, please help welcome Representative Pat Schneider. Well, good morning or almost good afternoon. Great to see everybody here. I want to again acknowledge my veteran friends who I've uh, come to go very close to. Love you guys. I'm so happy that we were able to get the driver's licenses and our Hmong Veterans Day. Uh, I think one of the big things, and it's too bad our federal people left, it'd be nice if you would get regular veteran benefits like the rest of our soldiers. They can do it, so well, I hope they can, so you can enjoy those same benefits that you earned and get on those honor flights. Well, it's been it's quite a time, you know, when you, um, we've talked about our, our education bill that we put out, and uh, there's a lot of sausage making going into bills. And being the lead author, the last few sessions of this bill, the first over I get to say hurdle we had to cross is we had to make sure it wasn't a mandate because they don't like mandates the DPI and I don't blame them so we pushed that way and it really didn't get the attention or let's say put on the radar to move forward so you have to have somebody that is kind of the cheerleader or the catalyst to move it through and I want to say it was about last winter not this winter we just went through, but the winter before, as it was mentioned, I go to a lot of celebration of life events of our great Hmong veterans. And it just happened to be at one of the events in Madison where they had a 20 minute video of this veteran's life. It was amazing. It showed him as a youth, as early as 12 years old, holding an AK-47 and fighting alongside his fellow Hmong soldiers and American soldiers. Amazing. Several pictures of that. Then it showed his transformation of getting shot at by the communists after we left, of going to Thailand and living in a refugee camp, which is just you know, subpar at the best, and then coming to America and being able to not only Across the hurdles of language, of different environment, of bigotry, and begin a business in Eau Claire, move to Madison and have one of the biggest, I believe, ice cream businesses in the state as well as in Madison. And this was all on a 20 minute video. And it showed his family, grandchildren, and I said, why couldn't something like this be taught, shown in school? It lays out the history of all of our Hmong American friends and the hurdles and the trails they had to get here to the United States. And I thought to myself from that, this is how I'm going to sell it to making sure that this is an important bill to move through. I was lucky enough to have Senator Tomczyk be the Senate lead on this. We were able to cross some of the big hurdles, get some people to get public hearings, and once it had that and was exact, it was a home run. We got her done, and as mentioned, Governor was great to come up in April at G.D. Jones. We signed it. And I hope that as Americans and our kids, you know, first our Hmong children can be proud to have this being taught. We are proud. Remember, uh, uh, when I was in school, I had uncles in World War II. And when you heard about the stories, you were proud. Now these young kids will be proud. But then the children that weren't from that area that are here that grew up their whole life in America could learn about the trail that these folks paid to come to America. So I thought it was important, and it is, and I'm so happy that I was able to spearhead it through and, and be able to talk to the powers be and to let this get onto the floor and for a vote. And you know I will always continue to, to not only work for this Hmong community, but work for everybody for finding solutions and not trying to find uh, agendas. So thank you very much. Enjoy this great festival.